I'm not in the belly of the beast. One way to address significant life issues, significant life problems, is to not ruminate on them. Right now, I'm not there. Right now, I don't have to make those calls. I don't have to make those decisions. Right now, I'm not at my job. I'm not dealing with the situation that I'm dealing with at my job. I won't be dealing with it for a few days. Right now, I've done what I can do and there's no more that I can do until the day of, uh, besides let it be known to my subconscious and try to go in in the best condition as I possibly can and work from there. But if you are facing major life stresses and you get a moment of respite, you will not have a moment of respite if you ruminate because you are stealing your own peace by thinking about the problem before it gets there. Say, for instance, you are terrified to fly and you have to take a plane somewhere. By being terrified the entire way up to the trip, the entire way waiting to get on the plane, before you ever even step foot on the plane being terrified, you've just robbed yourself of all of this life and all of this peace that you could have experienced in the interim that when working up to a place where you have to approach a difficult issue, a major life challenge, or a problem, or a fear, and overcome it, you need your batteries charged as much as possible. And you just spent all of this time in the problem that you're not even in by anticipating it. If you have to give a public speech at your job and you worry and you worry and you worry, you've written the speech, you've corrected it, you've read it to other people, you sort of have it roughed in, but you just can't let it go. And you picture in your head giving it and flopping it and all the ways it could go wrong and you just think and you 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 think. And you think. How many days, how many days are spent worrying, even if it's a legitimate problem, how many precious moments and seconds are spent thinking about the problem that at that given moment you are not in the problem. You will be, so why duplicate, double, triple, quadruple the pain and suffering of a situation or the, the mental strain of trying to make difficult decisions by spending periods of freedom from those decisions thinking about it. We worry so much about things that at a given moment we cannot control. <clears throat> that we have difficulty sleeping. It's not my only reason, but I, people keep themselves awake with anxiety about something that happened in the day, their finances, situations with their kids, situations in general that at that moment the dishes are not going to crawl out of the sink and attack you while you sleep. Just just lay your head down at night and rest. <laughs> rest. You're sleeping. There's nothing you can do, nothing you need to do, nothing can be done. Rest. Recharging your batteries is so important, especially if you really legitimately are facing a legitimate life situation, a huge shift major decisions, major fears, big moments, big opportunities. You need a strong battery and a strong foundation. 
So don't waste those precious moments thinking about the fight that's not there. Analyze where you are right now and appreciate the break. Or you don't actually get a break. So that's my words of advice during this transitional period of my life. Um, I know in, in just a few days I'll be right back in it. I'm not, not in it right now. So I don't need to think about it right now. And neither should you. It's a moment wasted. And you're the one that's wasting it. You don't have to. Yes, don't wait till the very last moment to address things in your life, but you don't have to use every moment to address things in your life. Or you'll be exhausted. All the time. Good morning. Bye. Love you guys. Happy fall. Let's see if Monkey can turn this off.